I love playing all around the world, playing on some amazing courses, massive tournaments. For me, coming home to my family in Bristol, it don't get any better than that. I putt here because the greens are the, probably the best in Bristol, but a lot of people come up to me and I don't really get a lot done if I come and practice, so, which is fine because it's my home club, but I need to get some, need to get a bit done, yeah. What was I there? 16? 67, yeah. It's, it's not easy around here either, this, this tricky little course. They're good memories because I mean, like junior medals and junior competitions, the night before, I'd lay all my clothes out for the next day, like, you know, what you'd seen the pros wear on telly, try and match it nicely and clean your shoes and stuff like that. We used to play um, like 72 hole putting competitions for 20p, but you had to win. Like 20p was everything and you know, paid for half a pint of coke or something. Dennis Scanlon, who was the pro here, he played in the Open a couple of times. That's like the junior club championship, so I was like dominating that for a few years. <laughs> Thanks, cheers, yeah. Uh, Seven, seven weeks, just over seven weeks, yeah. He was at the Masters. <laughs> he's, he is, he's growing. Cheers, Med. Um, yeah, this flag um, was one of the things like my dad wanted to get when I won the silver medal uh, in the Open. Um, have a flag with my signature and the winner of the Open on it. So we donated that to the golf club here. Thought that'd be quite a nice thing to have up. Club Championship. I actually won it four years in a row. Um, they've missed one off there. 36 holes on one day. But it was my dad's sort of lifetime ambition to win the Club Championship. Going into the last day at Wentworth last year, you think, well, a good day here. There's a potential Ryder Cup at the other end. You know, it was that big an event and yeah, you don't get that in, in a junior medal, say. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, it does it does mean an awful lot more. I phoned the clubhouse and um, said, "Drinks are on me," sort of thing. So, put a little tab behind the bar for them, and they all had a drink. That was a nice thing to be able to do, and um, it's the least I can do for those lot putting up with me when I was taking. 30 quid off them on a Saturday when I was younger. That's the best shot he's hit all morning. Oh, you need your seatbelt on. Safety first. <laughs> <laughs> on paper, I made dropped a few shots coming in. Um, but when I sort of got through, I think it was 12 maybe, I sort of thought to myself, right, I've got three shots that I need to hit here to win the tournament. And that was tee shot on 13, tee shot on 15, and then tee shot on 17. For me, my tee shot on 17 won me the tournament because we all know how hard that shot is. Uh, and it, under that sort of pressure, you know, fortunately I could, I could finish 6-5 to win it. Got to think here. When we go, let's get this right. Yeah, um, <laughs> I live two minutes from here. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I got quite a few tweets before the Ryder Cup at me saying you're the weakest link and this, that, and the other. And I'd have just liked to have. Well, I think I did, but just gone up yours to the idiots that tweet things like that. But to win my point with, with Justin Rose on the Saturday in the foursomes was just, 
the feeling is as good as winning a tournament yourself because you're winning it for the 11, 10 other players, the captain, the ca vice captains, the backup team, the European Tour, cyclists through a red light. Hate it. Ugh. Should have parked there actually. It's a nightmare around here parking. Drink? Uh, just uh, sparkling water. Sparkling water. Thank you. Can you cook? I can cook, yeah. When you're away that much and eating out every night, like I said, you just want home cooking. Sunday night, went out on this boat for about an hour up and down the Thames. Champagne was on it and that sort of thing, that was pretty cool. And then got back and went into Windsor, uh, about six of us, and um, I think got back at about 3 a.m. And um, first interview was eight o'clock the next morning. You, so yeah, you, you it, was, it was an excuse to go out on the rip, isn't it, when, you, when you've won a big tournament? Because I don't really do it very often, so. You know all about that. <laughs> we need it. Look at that. Too much bread. Athlete. <laughs> can, we, can we get the dessert menu as well, please? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, thanks. 